Philippians 2, 12 through 13. Wherefore, my beloved, as all of you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. We, as Christians, easy to do the right thing when people are watching us. Easy to do the right thing when we know people around us expect us to. But it's hard to do the right thing when we're around people who want us to do the wrong thing. Who want us to do what's evil. It's harder to do the wrong thing. But that's when the true values and the true Christian comes out. is when they go out from church in church, in the church service among believers, the other Christians, it's easy to do what's right. But we're not always going to be surrounded by believers. There'll be times we have to go out in the world. Do we conform to it? Or do we live as Christ would did and change it? It is harder to do this. Apparently, there was those that Paul went to who put on a lived a certain way when he was there, but lived completely different when he was gone. Israelites do this. We remember we remember the story about when Moses went on to Mount Sinai to get the law of God down. The first, as soon as Moses was gone, the people went to idolatry. It's easier to stay on track when we have somebody keeping us on track. But the true goal is to be able to keep on track because the Lord is the one to keep us there. Oftentimes we fall into doing their problem here. Those that may have had a problem with it may have put too much value on Paul and not enough on Christ. They may have realized, hey, Paul's a great man. We need to live by him. We live to please him. But as soon as he left, the encouragement was gone. The motivation was gone. Because it wasn't in Christ. It was in Paul. Okay, verse 13. For it is God's will. God which works in you both to will to do the good pleasure to do his good pleasure it's God's will that we live right now Paul once said follow me because I follow Christ the problem with that is if Paul ever stopped following Christ we should have stopped following Paul there's people out there that we may mirror ourselves after, but if and it's, um, but if they're not mirrored after God, then we shouldn't mirror ourselves after them. We should look and pray about who we allow influence us, because not all influences are going to be good and positive. Most of them out there are going to be negative and draw us away from God. A man like Paul was positive influence, but Paul even admitted himself he had thorn in the flesh. So he had weakness. We should look always to the one without weakness, the one that overcame all struggles, Christ our Lord. Okay. Judges 2 5. Yes, 2 5. And they called the name of that place Bolshem, the place of weeping, and sacrificed to the Lord there. This is what the Lord wants from us. 
We won't sacrifice. We won't just to give something of ourselves. Because ultimately, He gave Himself for us. He was our sacrifice. He died for us. He wants us to die. He shall. And live for Him. He wants us to overcome all these struggles. And we only can overcome them by Him. We can't do this on our own. We ain't meant to do this on our own. If we could do this on our own, it simply still wouldn't be good enough because we wouldn't depend on Him. He wants us to be able to depend on Him. And that's the reason why we can't do it on our own. And by doing this, we have to sacrifice self. That's the sacrifice he wants more than anything else. Sacrificing ourselves. Sacrificing our flesh. Putting away the things of sin. Putting on the things of righteousness that he set for us. Living the life of Christ and not for our own gain.